Well, the annual rise in temperature that comes around every spring is usually associated with a rise in crime in the campus area. But as Brian Ellis tells us, OSU and Columbus police are looking to crack down on crime this spring quarter. With the number of auto thefts on campus increasing, what steps are being taken by the university police to help resolve these issues and to help improve the Ohio State community? Also, what kind of surprises are in store for us students come springtime? An important factor to always remember is to be aware of your surroundings. Knowing where you are, who you're with, who's around you, are some of the most important things that will protect you. The number one message is, is that of awareness. Always be aware of your surroundings, be aware of who is around you, what is around you, be aware of where you're parking your car. If you take that advice and think twice about what's going on, you'll be a safer person. Good. As the temperature rises, so will the police activity in the off-district area. University police and Columbus police will be paired up in teams traveling around for the improvement of the campus area. But will they really be improving the crime rate, or will they just be cracking down on underage drinking like they did in the fall? The purpose of those patrols was, were, were to reduce violent crime in the neighborhoods. Uh, they are in addition to the normal patrols uh, that normally take place in those uh, in the area on those nights. Uh, we have suspended it for the winter but we intend to begin the, that process again uh, with the spring quarter. Okay. With the constant jumpings off campus to the stabbings to the carloads of people loading up, jumping out, simply mugging people, nobody's really safe around campus. You can be the biggest guy in the world but when it comes down to it the most important thing is to go around in a group and to use your common sense. If needed, take a cab. Use the buses. It's the safest and surest way to protect your butt. Because if you don't, no one will. This is Brian Ellis with Buckeye TV News Weekly. If you aren't involved in an organization here at Ohio State, it certainly isn't because there aren't any. With over 800 student organizations on campus, it's hard not to be involved in something. Sherry Miller tells you where to look for the ultimate extracurricular experience. We see them everywhere. Signs, notices, and bulletins about the organizations that we have here on campus. But what is their real purpose? Who do they benefit? And is it really worth being a part of? Hi, I'm Sherry Mills. Today I'm here at the Ohio State University's Ohio Union here at the Office of Student Organizations. We came here today to ask students whether their involvement in student organizations is really worth it and to get the inside scoop on organizations here on campus. We spoke with several students at the Ohio Union regarding their involvement with student organizations here on campus. For the most part, the organizations at Ohio State do a lot for the student body and I think it's very important for all students to really take part in them because it does really help you grow as a person and that's where this organization comes in and maybe if you see an organization that's not quite as organized or doing all this stuff, I mean that's a perfect opportunity for you to jump in and say, hey, let's do this kind of and right. things like that. Right. And do you think being a member of like either of the organizations that you're involved in, do you think it's worth it? Like, do you? I think it is. It keeps me occupied, and rather than sitting at home watching TV, I'm actually doing something. Right. So. Okay. And how much time a week do you usually spend with these organizations, like doing stuff, meetings, etc.? Uh, maybe three hours for like meetings a week. Okay. And do you think that these organizations are? really that organized in comparison to all the or other organizations on campus like yeah I do like getting I'm planning. updated enough and they make sure that if it, something changes I figure it out and they send me an email or call me and tell me about it well are you the next Donald Trump or Martha Stewart do you have what it takes to become the next big entrepreneur well NBC's hit series The Apprentice came to Ohio State looking for new cast members Buckeye TV News Weekly's Don Brofman has the story. You're fired. 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 Will these folks have a chance to hear those famous words from the Donald himself? Hundreds of people lined up as early as 5 a.m. at the Blackwell Hotel, all with the hopes of being the next reality TV star. NBC's The Apprentice is casting for its third season, while the Martha Stewart version of the show is looking to make its debut later this year. 
Everyone we talked to seemed to think that they had something special, some distinguishing feature that no one else had that would help them become a contestant on the show. I think that with my background, it's going to be very unique from probably, I don't care if there's 5,000 other people here, I think my background's going to be more unique than anybody else's. Okay, I think I am the apprentice. Uh, they just don't know it yet. And so I think, you know, I'll be going to New York to be the apprentice. One hopeful even dressed up as Martha Stewart in an orange jumpsuit, hoping to get the attention of the producers. Some people waited in line over eight hours for their chance to go through the interview process. Open call. So we only had 10 minutes. There were 14 people in the room. Basically, the producer just threw out a question. Well, the casting director threw out a question, and we all just started talking. And then Columbus she... is the last of 28 cities holding open casting calls. Final selections for both shows will take place in Los Angeles during March and April. Although there are only a small number of spaces available for the two shows, everyone wanted their chance to audition. I have nothing, I have really nothing to lose. I have no degree, no car, no girlfriend, so, I, I mean, I, I, I have no, nothing to do this morning. Yeah, yeah. So. Don Brofman, Buckeye TV News Weekly. Well, coming up, find out the hottest destinations for spring break 2005. Also, the latest college internet craze. Find out after this short break.